St. Conrad of Piacenza. St. Conrad of Piacenza, also known as St. Conrad of the Friars Minor, was an Italian Franciscan hermit and saint who lived during the 13th century. Born in Piacenza, Italy, around 1290, he is venerated for his life of asceticism, deep piety, and commitment to the Franciscan ideals. Conrad's early life is somewhat obscure, with limited historical records, providing details about his family background and childhood. However, it is believed that he came from a humble and devout family, which played a significant role in shaping his spiritual inclinations. From an early age, Conrad showed a strong inclination towards a life of prayer and solitude, drawing inspiration from the examples set by St. Francis of Assisi, the founder of the Franciscan Order. In his youth, Conrad felt a strong calling to dedicate his life entirely to God, and he joined the Franciscan Order to pursue a life of poverty, humility, and contemplation. The Franciscan way of life, as outlined by St. Francis, emphasized simplicity, self-denial, and a deep connection with nature. Conrad embraced these principles wholeheartedly and sought to live them out in a radical way. After completing his initial training as a Franciscan, Conrad chose to embrace the eremitical life, a form of monasticism characterized by solitude and contemplative prayer. He withdrew to a hermitage near Noto, a town in Sicily, where he lived in austere conditions, devoting himself to a life of prayer, fasting, and manual labor. Conrad's hermitage became a place of pilgrimage for those seeking spiritual guidance, and he gained a reputation for his holiness and wisdom. One of the notable aspects of Conrad's life was his deep connection with nature. He saw the natural world as a reflection of God's beauty and a means of encountering the divine. It is said that Conrad had a special affinity for animals, and they were drawn to him in a manner reminiscent of the stories of St. Francis. Birds, in particular, were said to flock to him, listening attentively as he prayed and sang hymns. Conrad's life of solitude did not isolate him from the needs of the people around him. Despite his commitment to the eremitical life, he remained attentive to the needs of those who sought his counsel and spiritual guidance. Pilgrims, locals, and fellow friars often sought his advice, and Conrad generously shared his insights and prayers with them. Throughout his life, Conrad experienced numerous trials and temptations, testing the depth of his commitment to the Franciscan ideals. He faced physical hardships, endured harsh weather conditions, and encountered moments of spiritual dryness. Despite these challenges, Conrad remained steadfast in his devotion to God and his pursuit of holiness. Conrad's reputation for holiness continued to grow, and his hermitage became a destination for pilgrims seeking spiritual renewal. As his fame spread, he became known not only for his ascetic lifestyle, but also for the miracles attributed to his intercession. Numerous accounts tell of miraculous healings, conversions, and other extraordinary events associated with Conrad. In 1351, Conrad passed away, leaving behind a legacy of holiness and a profound impact on those who had encountered him. Shortly after his death, a cult began to develop around him, with people venerating him as a saint. Miracles continued to be reported at his tomb, further solidifying his reputation as a holy man. The formal process of canonization took several centuries, as is often the case with saints from medieval times. In 1515, Pope Leo X approved the cult of Saint Conrad, recognizing him as a saint worthy of veneration. His feast day is celebrated on February 19, commemorating the day of his death. The life of Saint Conrad of Piacenza serves as an inspiring example of radical devotion to God, simplicity of life, and a profound connection with the natural world. His story continues to captivate the hearts of those who seek a deeper understanding of the Franciscan spirituality and a more profound encounter with the divine.